Good morning, people, and welcome back to Charlie and Me, our camping vlog. We are in Loch Rin in County Leitrim, and we're about to go to another campsite in Leitrim. It's an absolute beautiful morning here this morning. Very, very frosty. The boating club are out here. There's about 30 people out ready to go out on their boats. I'll uh, just give you a quick look at that. A couple of photographers here taking photographs of them as well. It was very, very frosty. It was cold last night, but we had the heating on. Uh, we watched a bit of TV. So what we're going to do is a little bit of road footage. I'll put the uh, number down here where you can skip the road footage for those of you who don't like it. I got a couple of emails while we were doing our editing and stuff last night. And thank you to the people. Oh, my beard is all over the place. Thank you to the people who have requested stickers. If you want stickers, just email us your full name, address and postal details. They're free. And while they last, we'll get them out to post to as soon as we possibly can. A couple of people email us. So I said to them, I emailed them back and said, as soon as we're finished in lovely Leitrim, we'll... Uh, Get them in the post to you as soon as we absolutely possibly can. So if you want stickers, please do email us your name, address and your full details. So we're getting ready to head from here to Battenbridge. Battlebridge. I'll correct it down here um, in Carrigan Shannon. Now, I was there about 20 years ago, well before Facebook and Bebo and all of them, when we just had campsitereview.com, which by the way, if you go on there, go onto the forums, you can read all about campsites and all the reviews are made by people who have actually stayed there. Anyway, I stayed in this campsite about 20 years ago. It didn't go down too well. Myself and Deirdre stayed there about, well, I think we had just got Charlie, so it was about six, maybe seven years ago. I'd say six years ago. So I decided let's go and stay there again. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head off now. It's only about 10 minutes from here. And uh, let's do a 2019 review for season two of Charlie and Mere Camping Vlog. I'll just turn the camera and just give you a quick look at the um, the kids getting ready to go out. And well, there's already about 20 out in their big, huge long boat. So hang on a second. Are you comfortable there? Thank you. Gosh, I didn't even have to ask him to move. This is where we are. I mean, that's the fence. That's the beautiful lake. And the uh, boating club got here. It's 5 to 11 now. The boating club got here. I'm going to move this camera over here. The boating club got here about half eight. And they've been getting five of those big boats ready. And there's already um, two of them out there. And they have uh, just one or two single guys out. And there's two boats with about ten in each boat. But this is a beautiful spot. Anyway, right, let's hit the road and we'll chat to you again in a couple of minutes. Just before we get to the campsite, uh, I had to stop in Leitrim to get some diesel. Uh, Battlebridge Caravan, and Car Caravan Park is in Leitrim. I might have said Carrigan Shannon, but I got that wrong. Now in Leitrim village, when you come through the village on the right hand side is a small marina. Uh, there's a private quay over there that has rental boats, but Waterways Ireland have toilets. Now they're closed until the end of December, but if you have your Waterways Ireland card, you can avail of the toilets that are here. I'm not sure there is another motorhome here. I'm not sure if you're allowed to stay overnight here. There's no electric hookup like there is in Port Tumna, which is also done by Waterways Ireland. But there are fresh water facilities and toilets 
just there behind us. As I say, they're closed until December 2019 due to maintenance as a notice there. But this is a small marina. Um, I'll stand over here and just give you a look at the marina. Over there seems to be a private marina for hire boats. And then, uh, Charlie, this way. That guy will just jump in. And then here, there seems to be a chap living on that boat there because the fire is lit and there's a couple of boats. Now, I do know Battle Bridge have uh, a small marina as well. Uh, I just drove past the campsite because I wanted to come back and get diesel and it seems pretty busy. Quite a lot of caravans and a few motorhomes in there. But the boats go uh, all the way back up there. Oh, it's quite a big marina now, to be honest. And that is called the Liberty. It's a Dutch barge. Okay, so we'll get back into the van. Just wanted to show you this Waterways Ireland area where you can, as I say, get fresh water and stuff. So we're going to make our way this way, Charlie, back to the van and head towards the campsite. So we've made it to Battle Bridge in Leitrim, Caravan Bernie's Battle Bridge, Caravan Camping Park. It's a beautiful park. Okay, let's get the history out of the way. I was here 20 years ago, as I said earlier on, when we had campsitereview.com and I slated this park. I was here with about 15 other motorhomes and caravans and the chap who owned it, who I believe are the same owners, got onto campsite review and gave us hell. How dare we? Blah, 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 blah. The Brennan brothers, remember them they've been featured on our videos before they come in and they help you get your business when you've kind of lost interest or it's failing and they get it back on track they came on board glamping was the thing they got them to put in a playground this place has bernie's bar it's a real old traditional bar serves food it's a beautiful old bar big lighting fire i went in to pay for our night stay roaring fire and a bit of food now anyway the brennans came on the family, the husband and wife and the family did kind of some of the things that they wanted to do. Uh, it's a big park, so I'm going to walk around it in stages. Charlie is not feeling the best. He's, he's over there. He um, got sick in the last site we were on and he's just not traveling great today. So I'll do this in stages. I'll have him for some of it. So let me turn the camera and let me start with my first bitch. And I've got to be honest, it's my only negative thing. No, not my only. Let me turn the camera. So, Bernie's Battle Bridge. This is for motorhomes only. There's one, two, three, four, five hard stands here and tents go there. So no caravans allowed here. Some of you that watch these vlogs have children. Some of you may not. It's the River Shannon. There's no fence there. Now I know it's our responsibility to look after our children, but a little bit of help. Anyway, that really is my most negative. I know it's winter and that river is pretty flowing, but it pretty flows. This place has a marina. As I say, it has Bernie's Bar. So let's take a walk up. This is a beautiful area. It's fairly new. Myself and Deirdre stayed here four or five years ago, but it's lovely and maintained. There's Bernie's Bar. Outside, they have a barbecue area. They have a seating area. There's a playground here. 
Now to get in, you saw on the footage, we pull up, I rang the house, they gave me a code, I've been since given the code. It's 25, sorry, it's 27 euro a night for myself and Charlie to stay here with electricity. It's 22 euro for a unit and five euro for electricity. That's pretty steep. And I'm saying it out now, it's not worth it. It is not worth one person and a dog, 27 euro to stay here. They don't seem to have an off peak season because they're open all year. Anyway, there's the bar. It is a beautiful bar. I will be going in there for food later on. It's a couple of motorhomes making their way in. So I'm gonna stop yakking so I'll be able to speed this up and walk around, okay? Here we go. Oh yeah, the pitches, some of the pitches, maybe just our pitch, aren't the biggest. We're actually sticking out. I'll just show you. That's our pitch there. There's a couple here have just arrived that were on the last side I was on. There's the toilet block. Come on, Charlie. Plenty of bins. Now, one of my griefs a while back was the toilet block. Now, sorry about that. I was just chatting to the couple there in that camper. Uh, they asked, was I following them? But of course, they're following me. A little signpost there, recycling, glamping. Uh, I just have to go to the bins. Charlie decided to uh, leave us a little gift. Plenty of bins. So anyway, let me, let me reiterate. I was here 20 years ago. Come on, Charlie. Chaz. That's the toilet block. When I was here 20 years ago, the toilets were a problem. They're not a problem now. It's 150 for a shower. The meter for the shower will take fives, tens, fifties, twenties, one euros. So you've ladies and gents toilets there, chemical toilet there, fine sized kitchen and kind of rec room. And there's about five more showers there. Fresh water there. I forget actually, I didn't ask. Come on, Charlie. I think yes, this is where you pull up to dump your waste water. Right, let's go walking. So made our way back out of the glamping, the entrance to the marina for people who have boat access is there. Um, there's the entrance into the site. It's electric gate. When you pull into that car park and you ring the number, they will give you the code or they'll open it for you. They open it for us. And then we make our way back to the motorhome. Come on, Charlie. I just think 27 euro for a unit including electricity is a bit steep for this time of the year. The couple I was talking to said, yes, but if you mention one of the motorhome forums, you get a 10 euro voucher for food. But I'm literally, I mean, I've got all my food. I bet you he'll walk across the muck. Back into the van, Charlie. No, he's not. Good boy. I've got a bunny that's not feeling very well today. He's not even eating much today. Never mind walking around the side with me. I think I was lucky to get that. You coming over here? Come on, come over here. Yeah, good boy. Sit down there. I hate when he's not well and there's nothing you can do about it. You, they can't tell you. <laughs> anyway, Bernie's Battle Bridge Leitrim. Been here before, a few times. I'm pleasantly surprised. I love the marina. 
Uh, you can now get access. It says no children allowed, but you can walk down and take a look at the boats. Since I've got here at about 11.30 this morning, five more motorhomes have come in. So it's busy enough. We took a walk around again a few minutes ago just to get him out and get him a bit of air. And there's about 10 gentlemen over there having a barbecue on the outside of the bar. Now, it seems to be offered by the bar because the young chap that served me lunch was serving the barbecue and a couple of lads. They look like bikers. Now, they could be people staying here, but they look like they were a bike club. Anyway, so two gripes. One is, as you saw at the beginning of the video, no fence along the river. Now, we came across that in O'Connor's in, in Doolin as well. Very, very fast river. And I think a fence, you can't watch your kids all the time. Are you okay? <laughs> There, now I put you in the shot. You can't be watching your kids all the time, so maybe maybe it's a little thing. 27 euro a night for a unit. Yeah, peak season. No, even that's that's crazy. We've we've had this discussion and this discussion. We've had it on the podcast. We've had it in, in public. Pricing, it's a funny old thing, but my opinion, now my opinion, this place is not worth 27 euro on a winter's night with electricity. Seriously, it's not. It's great. It has the facility of the pub. Yeah, brilliant. I went in. I had lovely lunch and I had a pint of Coke and it was it was beautiful. Um, the glamping pods, I went back down there. That area is fantastic. It's open all year. Um, go on to their website. I'll put the details here. I think it's battlebridgecaravanandcamping.ie. You have to book the likes of the pods but you can just arrive at the gate ring the number in the gate they let you in and then the bar is only open thursday friday saturday and sunday and then during june july august september it opens all the time there's lunches and there's food the whole lot the toilets are clean 150 for a shower bring a load of change it'll take any kind of change there's plenty of showers um the ladies and gents I stuck my head into the ladies it's clean clean it was an issue here a few years ago it's a fine site you know what i'd come back again i'd like to come back here with some of the camping crew um, i'm not sure if you're allowed to bring your kayak down into the marina because that river the river shannon is pretty crazy it really is it's a pretty fast flowing river that is it for another review in season two can you believe it can i remind you please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell if you haven't done so already and the podcasts of myself and chris they go out on quite a lot of the podcast forums uh, you can get us at anchor.fm forward slash the hyphen camping hyphen crew and then from there, you can get us on Spotify and iTunes and stuff like that. We really do appreciate you logging on and telling your friends about us. And thank you to all of the Facebook pages that allow us to post notice of our videos and our podcasts. And Motorhome Crack and Motorhome Ireland are very, very supportive of us, both the videos and the podcasts. And we really, really do thank you. It's starting to be a bit of an expense now at this stage. I think I'm going to have to start looking for some sponsorship. Oh, remember stickers just email us your address and your full address with postcode and while we have them we'll send them out to you for free that is it from hang on a second look from charlie and me i'm aaron if you're camping this winter please do stay safe stay safe stay safe anyway but stay warm and we'll chat you again on charlie and me our camping vlog very very soon take care bye bye